Hi, this is my review of the new Breville BKC 700 XL single serve coffee maker. Uh, it makes K cups from Keurig, uh, these little cups like this. Um, sitting next to it is the Keurig Platinum B70 model. My model is about three years old, so it's not quite the same as the new one that's out, but cosmetically it's identical. So here you can see the difference between the two. I thought it'd be good to give a comparison between the two models because I think that they are direct competitors with each other. Functionally, the two models are identical. They both have the same cup sizes that they can make, same brew temperatures, on-off features, the menus, the setup uh, are identical uh, between the two. Uh, the main difference is cosmetics. Uh, the Breville does have a couple of nice added convenience features. Uh, for one, here on the Breville, it has a pop-up indicator showing when the, the drip pan is full uh, so that you can tell when you need to replace that if you've had an overflow. The other big feature that I like is underneath the lid, it comes with uh, the My K Cup, where you can make your own coffee. Uh, you open this up, you put inside grinds that you make yourself or you buy from the store. It comes with its own measuring cup, and it all stores nicely underneath the lid. Uh, also, when you put this inside of the maker, you need to take this part out and this part will also store inside the lid here. So that is a nice added feature for the Breville. Uh, the Breville is, um, well cosmetically, it's stainless steel clad primarily. Uh, it's plastic on the top, but all of this part here is stainless steel, which is quite nice looking when it's clean. It does fingerprint pretty easily, but it also wipes off fairly easily. Um, the B70 on the other hand is mostly plastic. I found it interesting, at least on my B70, although it's mostly plastic, the metal handle here that opens and closes is metal, whereas the Breville is mostly metal, but the, the handle here is, is plastic. So I'll have to see longevity wise if this holds up as well. My B70 is about three years old. It has worked like a champ the entire time. Um, I haven't noticed anything break down on it, uh, so uh, it is, it's a good unit. Um, Cosmetically, you can see it has the, the blue lighting to it, um, both the water reservoir and also the LCD screen and the buttons. The Breville, uh, this new model, uh, the 700, has made a switch from their previous model where the lights are now white colored. I did want to make a remark. There was another review that talked about the brightness of the lights. I don't know if it'll really show up in the movie, uh, but they are really quite bright, uh, especially in a dark room. So uh, if you leave it on overnight, it makes quite a, quite a night light. But um, For those of you who aren't familiar with the operation of one of these Keurig machines, uh, here's a brief demonstration. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, again, it uses these single cup uh, or single serving K cups. Uh, open up the top, put this in, uh, then you close the lid. I'm going to take this out because I don't want a cup at the moment. You'll close this. Uh, then it will say brew. You can select the size of cup that you want all the way from 4 ounces up to a little over 11 ounces for a travel mug. I'll make the smaller size for the demonstration. Just place your cup underneath, press the brew button, and, and that's it. If you're making a larger cup, uh, there will be a brief amount of time where it has to take water out of the external reservoir to fill it up and then heat it up doesn't take long at all. And then once it's done, uh, it fills up the internal water reservoir again. Um, you're ready to go. You can take the cup right out because it has a, a drip tray here. Uh, so any leftover water or coffee that's here that's going to drip down stores there. It doesn't get all over your countertop. One thing to mention about these machines, at least in my experience, is that when you make uh, any liquid from this, uh, especially coffee, you'll notice it does splatter. I made water so you can't tell, uh, but it would get a few drops here on the countertop and it'll spray up here. It's, it's not excessive, but it's just something to be mindful of. Uh, it's true about both models that I've owned. I would have to say between these two models, uh, or the new model, the B70 or Platinum as they're calling it, uh, I would go with the B70 myself. Um, the cosmetics on the Breville are very nice. Um, I like having the My K Cup in the lid. 
the uh, fluid level indicator on the drip tray isn't a, a big seller for me, but the cost difference is what really plays it out for me. Uh, another $90 to get the stainless steel just isn't worth it for me, uh, given how much it shows fingerprints uh, and smudges. Uh, but, you know, of course, that's personal choice between anybody making a decision. So again, functionally, they are identical. The only difference between the two is cosmetics, and uh, you can decide if, if that's worth the extra money for you. So that is my review of the new Breville uh, 700 model. Uh, I hope it was helpful. For those of you who have an older version of the B70, uh, I'm going to give a demonstration of the pump noise. That was my primary complaint uh, with the model that I had. The pump vibrates a lot. Uh, in fact, I even put it on top of uh, rubber bumpers, actually, to try to isolate it from the cabinet because it would shake everything on my countertop. Um, the new version of the B70 is very much like this Breville. Uh, they redid the pump, made it quieter. As far as I can tell from the videos that I've watched, the two are the same, but you will get to see a, uh, or hear a demonstration between the two. So if you're only familiar with the older versions, you might want to consider getting, getting a new one.